Hey guys, it's Michael from Glaze Life, and today I'm bringing you an Adobe Photoshop CS6 tutorial on a text. Now this text effect is going to be a chrome or a metal type look. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. We're going to go to File, New, and we're going to open up a new project here. Now your canvas can be anything that you might need it for. It can be anything from the HDTV for just your custom settings, anything. So I'm just going to pick a custom one here and we get a white background. We're going to change that and we want this to be a darker gray. So I found that if you type in 5D, 5C, and 5C, that's pretty good color. Now it's really up to you. So we're going to click OK and we're going to go to the paint bucket here and we're just going to apply that to our background. Next, we need to make a new layer by the new layer button here. And we're going to go and replace our gray text to completely white. And next, we're going to go to our paintbrush tool. And here we want to pick a brush that's soft. And we want it to kind of overlay a little bit over our background. So we're just going to dab it once here in the middle and after that we want to <clears throat> change the fill we're gonna change the fill to something a little less intense alright and I'm going to transform this layer it's um, command T on the Mac and we're just gonna spread the light out a little bit and we're gonna click enter okay now we want to merge these two layers down all right. Next is our text. Here we go. We're gonna just make a text box, and you can choose really any font that you want. Uh, maybe something bold, but we're gonna make sure we type this in white. And I'm just gonna type in "Please." Life. My now my text has been altered a little bit to make it how I want it. So you can download fonts. You can do really anything you want. So I'm just gonna put this in the middle just like that and we're gonna rasterize it rasterize type now after that we're gonna go to the effects tab down here at the bottom and we're gonna go to stroke now we're gonna change the stroke size to one pixel and that's it for stroke that's all we're gonna do now we're gonna drop down to drop shadow and we're gonna change the opacity to 100 percent the distance we want to add have it as two pixels spread we're gonna change that to 10 percent and our size to nine pixels alright so that's all done now we're gonna to move to the gradient overlay we're gonna open up here and we have a right box and a left box we're gonna change both of these boxes to be the same color so I'm gonna start with the left box here double click it and we're gonna change the value to B1, B1, B1. This is a lighter gray that we're going to be using. And we're going to change the right box to the exact same values. B1, B1, B1. Okay. Now, we want to add a middle box. So we're just going to click right here under the little diamond and add a box. And now we want this one to be a little darker here. So we're going to go and change the values to 3F, 3F, 3F. This is a color that's in between like gray and black. We're going to click OK. Now we want to make a divide here. We want to make it look glossy. So we're going to take the right box and move it closer to our left box here and kind of make a divine line. Okay, and we, we can alter it however you want, whatever looks best for you. And we're going to change the left box to move up a little bit. So we're just really just playing with it. I mean, it's totally up to you. So after you think you have it how you want it, we're going to apply another box all the way to the right, right here. And then we're going to change this one to a lighter color, almost white. But we want to change this one to E5, E5, oh, I'm not even typing, hold on, E5, E5, E5. Now it's completely up to you, like I said. We're going to click OK. And we're going to play around with a little bit more here. Just to fix 
however you want it. Alright. I'm going to click OK and exit out of this real quick just to see. Alright, I think that looks pretty good actually. What does that look like compared to my other one? It's a little different, but I actually like that a lot. So guys, it's really simple. It's something that looks sleek and professional for your page or for whatever you want to use it for. Alright guys, this is Michael signing out. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope it wasn't too hard. And I can't wait to see you guys next time. Just remember, comment, rate, and subscribe to all our videos. And we'll see you next time.